Please have rock types. Hey kid, let's test your skill. Bring it. I just rode him a cargo through lava currents that apparently are a thing. You stand no chance, Marcos. Dang it, Torkoal! I hate you and your entire existence. I'm switching out. I'm gonna be that guy. Use a fire type attack, please. Please. Use the fire type attack. No, you used iron defense. You're you're that guy. Great. Does Growlithe even have any? He's got bite. Iron Tail and Flamethrower won't do much to a Torkoal. Neither does Bite, apparently. Oh, and it knows Body Slam, of course. Why wouldn't it? Keep biting it. It's gonna take two more bites. I'm gonna attempt to use Flamethrower just to see what it does. I'm hoping that the stab and the fact that, you know, Flamethrower is a special move and not physical, so Iron Defense won't affect it. Hopefully this will still kill it. And I got Stab. And, uh, it's a really strong move. Nope, it survived. With about as much as using Bite would have. Would you stop using Iron Defense? Seriously? Do I need to use Iron Tail to, like, match you? No, I'm using Bite. I'm not done. I really like Torkoal. I don't think I've ever used a Torkoal before. Have I? I think I've used a Torkoal once. I can't remember what game, but I distinctly remember using a Torkoal for something. I just don't remember what. Torkoal's an okay Pokemon, from what I very little I remember. I don't think I used him in a third-gen game. That's where he's originally from. And I don't think I've used him in a hack... What could I have used a Torkoal from? Huh. I don't know what game I could have used a Torkoal in, but I remember using one. I'm leaving it at that. Oh no, a Sand Shrew! Whatever will we do? Shoot it with water! Let's do this, Golduck. I believe in you. Water Pulse! You're dead. One shot. Come on. One shot. Look at it, it's so cute. And now it's dead. I've never used Sandshrew or Sandslash. They just never really appealed to me. Maybe I should try using one. This guy has, like, the same Pokemon as the other guy. That we first fought. Only his Torkoal was stupid. I didn't like his Torkoal. Dang it! Confusion. Oh, I got confusion again. Now watch, he's gonna hit himself and he's not gonna die. But then I'm gonna kill him from brain damage. Nope, nope, didn't hit himself. Oh, great, he used Revenge. And I'm not half Psychic, despite knowing Confusion. No, I didn't do that much. How much does Leftovers do? It's like one-tenth of my overall health, isn't it? Something like that? I got like eight. I don't think that's one-tenth. One-tenth... What would one-tenth be? Fourteen? Yeah, fourteen. One-tenth of 141 is fourteen, roughly. I, I might be doing my math horribly right now, but I don't know. To survive in a place like this, you should have water and Pokemon. Really? That's, that goes for pretty much everywhere there. Is this Flamethrower again? Team 35 is Flamethrower, isn't it? I thought I already got this TM and gave it to Growlithe, like, way back when. Can any of my other Pokémon learn Flamethrower? I know Roughly can't. That would be stupid. Nope. Torkoal can, but screw Torkoal. Can I give Shadow Ball to anyone? I give it to Toxicroak. I don't really see the point in giving it to Toxicroak, but that option is there. Doo-doo. Hey, you. There are places high in the mountains that can be scaled using Rock Climb. They brought in Rock Climb from the, uh, fourth gen games. I don't have Rock Climb yet in this game that I remember. Let's have Mana Trick go. Hopefully this person doesn't have Rock or Ground. I trained my body and my mind along with my Pokemon. Oh, you're a Psychic! I can totally beat a Psychic with my... Whatchamacallit. it? Oh no, you're a triathlete. Do you have flying types? No, you've got a rock steel. That makes sense. Shouldn't you have, like, Doduo? You're not following the normal Pokemon logic, Spark. I'm really glad I got two flamethrowers and not a single... Oh, cool, I got the stat, the paralyzation off of that. I'm really glad that you, um, that I've, um, gotten two flamethrower TMs and Shadow Ball, but I still haven't run into the Thunderbolt TM. Really appreciate that. Because, I mean, that wouldn't be useful for my mana trick or anything. Oh, great, a sand true. Just what I wanted to see. Just what I wanted to see. Braylon, let's get you back to full health. Might as well. I only got one more Pokemon after this. See, this is what trainers should be, be like. One to three. Pretty sure the last two guys had, like, four. I keep bringing that up. Because it's something that really irritates me, is when trainers, random trainers along the path, have a butt-ton of Pokemon. And it just... Another Sandshrew, really? And it just takes forever to get through it. Is 
That's so cute. Look at it. I want to I want to play a Pokémon game and use a Sandshrew now. I really do. Maybe the next hack I record, I'll try and get a Sandshrew if that's possible. You have to try your hardest in battle. Everyone else will. True words. True words. Well, maybe not everyone else will, but a lot of people will. The majority will. Hey, you're a Pokémon trainer, aren't you? No. I actually understand what you want out of life. I think we should both work hard to achieve our ideals. Are you in? From black and white? Can I move now? I can't move. There we go. What was that? Was that like In's cousin? Hey, an Onyx! Why are all of the Pokémon, like, level 11 to 20 in the wild? How am I supposed to grind my Pokémon with such weak-leveled enemies? I've been lost in here for hours. It's tricky because there are... Whoops. It's tricky because there are many exits. I don't like the sound of that. Burn heal. I don't like the sound of what that kid just said at all. I don't like getting lost. Of course, we always have hyperspeed if things go wrong. Hey, there's a normal. All these fire types that I don't care for because I have a Growlithe. Hmm. Probably shouldn't fight this guy starting off with mana trick. Toxicrope. You got Sludge Bomb now, you can do it. Prepare to lose in battle against Mike the Great. What makes you so great, Mike? Is your name even Mike? Please tell me your name isn't Mike. That would be hilarious. No, nope, your name is Mike. You have four Pokemon, and you're leading off with a level 36 Torkoal, just like the two other guys I fought. I'm sick of you guys. Sludge Bomb. Can I get a one-shot on that? Nope. Did a little over half, though. Dang it, Body Slam. Don't paralyze me. Dang it! This is why I hate things. I'm still faster than this Torkoal, really? Okay. When you're paralyzed, your speed goes down, I'm pretty sure. Or at least in the more recent games it does. I thought it did in these games, too. There's no point in switching out. I'm going to be using Revenge anyways, so I'll be going second no matter what. I use Metal Claw on the Fighting Poison type. What? Doesn't Poison resist Steel? I don't know why I think it would, but I thought it did. Poison doesn't affect Steel, I know that. I thought that Poison was resistant to Steel for some reason. I knew that Fighting wasn't. Why did I think that Poison resisted Steel? I don't know. The world may never know. Well, hopefully I can remember that from now on. It almost seems like I play so much Pokemon that it makes me just forget about my knowledge on Pokemon sometimes. And again, I haven't been playing Pokemon much recently. I haven't played... I haven't even turned on my X and Y in at least a month or two. Really, I just... I lost interest. I'm having more fun with the hack I'm doing... This hack, the Fire Red Omega hack, and the hack I'm doing on my own time. I'm actually probably gonna... After I finish that hack, I'm pretty near to the end, I think. After I finish that hack, I'll just not mess with it for a good while, and eventually record it when I don't remember much of it. Of course, it'll all probably start to come back to me as I play, but it won't be as fresh on my mind. I don't want it too fresh on my mind when I record it. If I do record it, I may never record it. My Torkoal needs more experience. My Growlithe needs more health, and you don't see me crying. That's because I don't have a face cam. For all you know, I actually am crying. Crying tears of sadness at my hurt Growlithe. I'm fast-forwarding this Numble, I'm so sad. Pokeball. Timer Ball. Still not a Fire Stone. What do I have to do to get a time... To get, not a Timer Stone. Timer Stone, that'd be interesting. This place is hot. I've been looking for something to eat for ages, but I can't find anything. Eat the rocks. A Timer Stone, what would that do? Would that, like, evolve Dialga into Arceus? be really interesting. Can I please be out of Mount Shum? It's so hot in this cave that it's drying my hair out. Why was your hair wet? Drying your hair out. I have a feeling that that doesn't mean what I thought it meant. I mean, my hair is dry right now. What? She mean, like, so dry it's starting to... I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a hair person. I was waiting for someone to fight. Bring it on. There are two of you, like, right in a row. I hope that means I'm near the end. Please don't have a butt ton. Okay, you got three. Dang it, Nummel! Does Mantrix still have Headbutt? Yes, he does. Headbutt. I want Thunderbolt so bad. Ooh, good damage. Yeah, use that Amnesia. See if it helps. Mana Trick does not care. So I'm guessing that the next gym... Actually, that one guy that gave us Lava Surf, he said that um his gym in the other region was a Fire-type gym. 
So I doubt there's a fire type gym in Zahari. Which means... I don't know what the next gym could be. Rock? Ground, maybe? Rock or ground? Rock and ground? Who knows? Maybe he only has Pokemon that are both rock and ground. That would be interesting. Gyms that use two types, but all of their Pokemon are both types at the same time. You know, like, you got a Grass Fighting Gym. It's only got Breloom and Virizion as the, um, gym leader's Pokemon. That would definitely be interesting. I'd like to look into that. Uh, Water and Flying, like Mantine and Gyarados and Polipper. Stuff like that. That would be really cool if they added that into a new Pokemon game, or if someone did that in one of their hacks, I would definitely play that hack. I'd play it, probably record it, have a fun time with it. Level up! Yeah, level up, level 44. Fury Swipes? <laughs> Why would I teach you Fury Swipes at level 44? That's stupid. Yeah, I don't want to learn it. My Stunky uses Poison-type attacks to pierce opponents' defenses. You didn't have a Stunky! What is with these people talking about Pokemon they don't have? Do you fight me? Dang it! Wild Pokemon, fast forward. I'm not dealing with Zubat's crap today. There are many Zubat in these caves. They scare me all the time. I'm used to them. I, I hate them with a great passion. So do we have like two hikers and we're done, hopefully? Dang it! A what? A bleh! A Rhyhorn? What is a Rhyhorn doing here? That's a cool Pokemon. Can I get a double battle here? A ground and fire Pokemon is the perfect combination. Really? Hello, ground and fire Pokemon. Say hello to my water type. You're dead. Can I one-shot you with Sky Uppercut? I'm going to guess I can. That also gets rid of fire's immunity to, uh... Gets rid of fire's immunity to... Uh, not immunity, but it's resistance to grass. Grass will affect it normally. Oh dear, a Sand Slash. And, um... What else does that effect negatively? It gives it it gives it complete immunity to electric types, which is pretty good, I guess. Uh, fire is no longer resistant to ice. If it's half ground, it's normal affected by ice. Water, its most common weakness, double super affects it. Uh, does ground resist rock? I don't know if ground resists rock or if it's just neutral damage. So it may give it a bit of a resistance to rock. Or maybe not. I can't remember. I don't think I even have any rock-type moves, so I can't really find a Nummel and use a rock-type move to find out. Pretty sure none of my Pokémon know a rock-type move. Can't really think of any other examples on fire and ground types there. A ground and fire Pokémon is the perfect combination. Yeah, you already said that, and then I beat the crap out of your ground and fire type. So, uh, do I have to fight this guy, or this guy to the left, or is he just gonna, like, give me some words of wisdom, or what? Hey, you. Yesterday I was working here and walking around this cave when I found a fossil. You want it? I don't have any use for it. Sure. The sky fossil? A fossil is a portrait of the past. It's very important to handle it carefully to preserve whatever information it holds. A sky fossil? Is it like Aerodactyl? Aerodactyl is normally in the old amber. I've never heard of the sky fossil in, like, any gin. Not even 6th gin. Pretty sure in 6th gin it was sail fossil and jaw fossil. And that's rock climb right there above me. This right here. These rocks can be climbed. Yeah, I don't have that HM, and I don't even know if I have the gym badge for that HM. I got a hard stone. I think that, like, raises rock type damage. Mount Shum, Mount 401 to the right. Please tell me I'm almost out. I'm fast forwarding the Slugma. Hey, Slugma. It's so cute. Love me some Slugma. Oh, what's happening? It's you! Are you, um. Diamond? Yeah, Diamond. Interesting. I finally reached the end of this cave, and here you are, Chaos. I'm ready to fight. The trainers here were pathetic. Yes! Yes, they were. They did some damage to my Growlithe, though. What have you got, Diamond? A Pupitar to start. Bad choice for you, because I've got Breloom up front. Sky Uppercut! Oh, I outspeed. I missed! Really? I have, like... What does Sky Uppercut have? Like, 95 accuracy? And now my speed is down. That's just great. I'm gonna use Mega Drain, because he's probably gonna hit me with some kind of ground-type move or something similar. Oh no, I used Rock Slide. On a fighting type? What's wrong with you? Well, I only did 15. I'm probably gonna get all my health back here and one-shot you, because you're half ground. Pupitar and Larvitar are rock ground, and then Tyranitar is rock dark. Even if he had barely survived that, I probably could have ended him with a mock punch. 